I'm just creating a simple following drone who will follow the player or any AI that you want it to. Um, <laughs> here's what he looks like. You can look, you can look however you want. It doesn't matter. Um, and I'm going to have him follow the player, just offset to the right a little bit. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. He's not going to have any functionality just yet, but I'll give him functionality later. So this is just a very basic follow drone. Um, I believe I have a drone folder somewhere. Let me just find my drone folder. I'm going to create a new component, blueprint class, um, scene component, because I want the transform. And I'm just going to call this drone follow scene. Um, and this will have a custom event inside which will be spawn follow drone okay and that's just going to be spawn actor from class um, the class can be drone class and the transform can be get world transform of the scene component Okay, and now drone class is just going to be my drone that I've created, which is just a just a character or a actor. It doesn't matter. I want mine to be a character because I might make him do flying AI later. I'll make him actually fly around and be able to chase characters and shit like that. But for now, he's just going to follow our character and look cool. Um, so then, in your player character, add component, drone follow scene. And um, just set that up to be wherever you want. So try and follow scene if I reset the location now. Set to zero, so if I'm behind my character, I'll turn my snapping on. Um, I don't know, maybe like there. I think that'd look pretty cool. Assuming that he's not a really big drone, he might be a really big drone. I might have to shrink him a little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's try that. Alright. So, in your player, um, ignore that. That can go. That was just me testing shit before. You can go. You can go, I said. What the fuck? I'll delete you now? No? You're not going to let me delete you? What if I right click? Can't delete. Oh, sure. Why not? Um, so on your begin play, just grab your drone follow scene and just spawn follow drone. Um, that's easy enough. And it'll spawn it at that point. And then, well, if I just jump in now, let's just see what happens. Um, there's no drone, sick. <clears throat> oh, it's because I had something hooked up to his event tick, so let's just get rid of that. <clears throat> yeah, that's our drone. He's just there, and he's a good size, actually. He's a good size. <clears throat> okay, so, once our drone is spawned, I could give him some behavior and run a behavior tree but um, I'm not going to do that just yet so I'll just disconnect that because he was trying to run a behavior tree and what I'm going to do is he's going to have two variables in his blueprint um, oh you know what I might actually do this in the component that I just made so he doesn't need a follow scene and he doesn't need any of that um, so just in the drone follow scene component you could just have event tick um, this could just be current drone and then every frame um, yeah actually every frame we could just set the transform uh, set actor transform of the drone 
to the transform of the scene component, I suppose, and that'll probably just do the job. And if we wanted to make it smoother, actually, well, let's just check that this works and then we can smooth it out with like some interpolation and things like that. But he spawns in now, check that out. <laughs> and he's got his um, flaming trail because I gave him a flame particle system and he's just following around. And if, um, yeah, he, yeah, I mean, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool, right? It was actually really simple. And if I wanted to smooth it out, like I was saying, we could, well actually, can you interpolate a transform? Can I say, interp, interp two? Yeah, we can. Um, or is there like a lerp? There's a lerp, yeah, cool. All right, let's do that. Linear interpolation. Um, so if we recombine that structure, put that in there, we can have um, an alpha or an elf, uh, uh, that can be a public variable. And the starting, the starting transform is going to be the drone's current transform. So that can be get, get actor transform. Okay, and the final transform will be the world transform of the um, component that's attached to the owning character. Now, what are these interpolations? Let's just roll with that one. I think that's fine. And I'm going to make the alpha point two. Okay. Yeah, check that out. So now there's a little bit of um, there's a little bit of lag. really cool though. I like that a lot. <laughs> yeah. And if you had, um, don't worry about that because that's just AI trying to work. Um, if you had a projectile launching component, you could attach that to him as well, like in your automata. So if I grab my, um, projectile launching component, attach that to the drone follow scene um, and then probably move it forward like a hundred units or something I wonder if this will work yeah now my drone's shooting projectiles unreal <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's sick. Alright guys, that's how to create a um, simple follow drone.